Wagon wheel, they call it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. You, you never, never a dull moment around you. <laughs> You got out of the jail. That's good. I did not have to go to jail on that one. Oh, good. That's good. Hey, James. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good, man. Gary. Oh. Yeah. Did that guy forgive you? <laughs> I don't think I would, but I'm doing pretty good stuff. That's ridiculous. Oh, I know. Well, you, you, you said you were parked in the bike lane and you, 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 you tapped up against your toe tap. I thought you did it hard. So yeah, when I got out of bed, I really expected to
I told you, I was circling for so long. Wow. Every time I went past the spot opened. <laughs> I went, yeah. I went around <laughs> ten times. <laughs> and over at the place over to my friend's house that I play music with and they said they're going to be here. Oh. In other words, and it's still there. Well, <laughs> but, but should well be not when I'm playing the flute. I'll throw it up in the air with it. <laughs> <laughs> full bass tone, you know? Uh, this is, I guess you can call it a gift from somebody. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah. She passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And she always brought it here, she always brought it wherever, and she goes, James, I got my drum, would you like to play it? She just, she wanted to hear it play. And uh, after she passed away, for those who don't have drums, I put out a whole bunch of drums out over here. So come on over and help yourself to some. When you're done, just put them back in that area for someone else to pick up. Uh, there's also a little donation uh, pretzel bin, that's what it was. Um, and that's to help with the repair and replacement of the drums and the carrying equipment. Um, so please be generous. I'm waiting on my mic stand. I left it somewhere, and they said they're going to be here, yet they're not here yet. Do you remember Mary Maggie? Or, uh, no, Gabby? Mary yeah. Gabby? Yeah. Is that who you're talking about? Or? No. Um, if I ever got back with her, because see, I take off and I go out to Bonneville, right around the time she died. All right. Okay, I, I don't like that word. Right around the time she passed. Transition. Yeah, passed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she probably, I'm sure she would have given a bunch of stuff to me too. I don't really know what happened to all her stuff. So. Uh, now this was, uh, she went like lucky. And lucky, she always sat right over there. And she brought this drum and she just left it. And then if I showed up, then she brought it out. She didn't want anybody else to play with me. So anyway, we were supposed to get together and go up to um, Red Rocks and play on stage. And she passed away. But I ended up getting the drum before she passed away. So I thought I have to take this to Red Rocks. So I went up to Red Rocks. I I had to take it up to Red Rocks. Wants to sit next to me. I don't know who else wants to sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're a good strong drummer. You could be next to a strong drummer. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, and the thing is, is because I'm teaching you. So if I teach you, and we'll go along, and I'll, I'll kind of like, this is where I'm at, this is where I'm at. And I said, okay, this is kind of like, I don't tell them, but it's like, this is what I want you to do. And they'll pick up on it. So, and that's like, good, okay, now stay there. I yell at him through the, through the drum. So I yell, okay, now stay there, because I'm going to be going somewhere else. <laughs> intensity for these next two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. This doesn't happen often. Now this particular full moon is known as the full hunter's moon. And uh, obviously this is the time of year then all the hunters even today um, hunt. <laughs> now uh, this particular moon has several different names. It's also known as the drying rice moon, the falling leaves moon, the freezing moon, the ice moon, and the migrating moon. Now this particular moon is a very pow powerful moon. This moon brings on the energy of in independence. Right. Basically, it's a moon about honoring your own sovereignty, your own self, who you are, and accepting others for who they are, too. This moon can also be, the way the planetary alignments are, 
can be tumultuous in the next couple of weeks. But this particular full moon right now is extremely powerful for manifestation. What do you want to create in your life? What do you want to happen? This is a time to put your dreams into action, to make them into realities. How do we do that? How do we create our dream into reality? It's really by taking one step at a time. Most times it's baby steps, but it's not letting, letting yourself become a victim. Creating good boundaries on what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. If someone wants you to do something for them that is against your own integrity, this is a time to create the boundary, to create your own sovereignty and say no. And if you feel, you know, sheepish about it, you don't like confrontation. Well, confrontation is something doesn't have to be negative. Confrontation is, when I talk to somebody, in a sense, it's a confrontation if we have different ideas. But we don't have to be angry when we differ. Sometimes, when we let each other speak what they need to say, without interjecting, we both grow. Right? We both strengthen our own persons, our own spirit. And this is a perfect moon to start honoring those small steps in creating what you want in life, whether it be a new partner or a partner period, a new job, new house, anything. Is a time, this is the time to start taking the steps and making the necessary changes in your own life. Sitting on the couch, which I'm glad you're all not doing right now, um, doesn't get you anywhere. You know, say, well, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Well, you got to do some action steps. Use your own personal fears as motivators to make the change. Things you don't like about yourself, don't keep getting angry at yourself. Start the process of change now. Every time you catch yourself doing something that you don't like, and you're catching yourself quicker and quicker, that means you're growing. Right? Because once you catch yourself, you stop that behavior generally. And after a while, it become, becomes common. All of a sudden, you have an impulse to react a certain way, and all, and then, but you don't. Because you already know the trigger. That's the beginning of change. That's the beginning of growth and who you can be, not who you are in this moment, no matter what you've done in the past. That was then. What are you going to do now? That's the big question. Every single person here is capable of anything they put their mind to, no matter what other people have told you in the past. Many of us have stopped being creative because someone said we were terrible and we, we felt hurt, and we didn't want to show and do anything in front of anybody else since that point on. Well, look at that and say, you know something? I'm going to go do it. I'm going to do it for me, not for anybody else, just for me. And you're going to be amazed at what you create. Because that's taking over your own personal sovereignty and not giving your power away to another person or what another person says. When you're hurt, suck it up, feel it, Acknowledge it within yourself and then look at it with a cold eye, a critical eye. Is this really me? Do I resonate this way? And if it's an absolute no, then this person is projecting something on you. But if you go, wow, I do do that, well, now you're aware and then you can make the changes. You can start that process. So this is a perfect full moon to manifest what you want what you can create, who you can be. Always remember to honor yourself and welcome to Full Moon Drumming. I'm John Thunderheart, by the way, and let the drumming begin.
<laughs> yeah, full moon. I do it on the full moon. And we weather permitting in the winter. That's what I was. That was my next question. Yeah, and I do it on Facebook. Right, I do because thank you. Somebody accepted me. That's right. Yeah, John Thunder Harley. Yes. yes. That's, thank you. You're welcome. I just got accepted this morning, and I'm like, <laughs> I'll be there tonight. Oh, awesome. Oh, so yeah, it's yeah. very amazing. Uh, thank very you. amazing. Thank you. I, I invited a couple of friends, and I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Drums. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. I want to on a full moon. So on Facebook you'll say. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I used to do full moon drumming ceremony, but yes. they came after me, the city. So I now have I have a walk. A garden of gods with drum. <laughs> and I'll be resting, that's what I wrote, I'll be resting from 6.30 to 9 p.m. at the stone rest. circles. The circles. <laughs> I mean, they probably couldn't figure out how to make that drum. Yeah. So that's why they didn't let you do it. Yeah. I love the walking rest. That yeah. was perfect. I caught on right away. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, nice meeting you also. Thank you. Uh,
show up. You're going to buy everybody around. <laughs> Rachel, your credit cards are here. Oh, those are mine. Yeah. We have a fake Rachel here. Fake. She's put, buying the first round. <laughs> What's the outstanding bill? What's the outstanding bill? Okay, since Rachel is not here. I get mine. We will start the drumming again. I apologize for the inconvenience of uh, putting the beat.
crazy girl?
thing. Or... It hurts like hell. Oh my god. What the hell is that guy? He's throw you down the ground. We were wrestling around on the ground like a couple of monkeys. Oh, yeah, my knees are all fucking tucked up.
I got blisters on my fingers. I got on my fingers. <laughs> my hands hurt too. <laughs> Just the one on the stinky knuckle. 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 Stinky